smile because it always goes live long before we ever get there. Okay. And they're probably hearing us right now. Here we come, everybody. Standing by. There we go. We're live, everybody. Yay. Yay. Hi, everybody. Join me here and say hello to Stephen Rosenfeld, who is the founder of Columbia Skin Care. And I'm so happy to have you here, Stephen. It has been a long time coming. It has been too long. <laughs> Can you hear me okay? Yes, you can. I can. Perfectly. All right. So I am going to go into this page so that I can see um, everybody. And I have to turn down um, my audio so we don't get feedback. This is one of the technical things. This is not like, um, you know, being on Fox 5 television here. So Colette is here. Sue Rainish is here. And everybody is joining from... Um, uh, other areas of the country. So, and Roseanne is here. Everybody is very excited to, to see you today. And I, um, I myself am um, blown away. So I say quite frequently, nobody is standing in line to ask me to endorse anything. And I really, truly am very careful that I, what I say in terms of what I believe in whenever I speak to my audience. And I very frequently will say, you know, this is only organic, this you can find at Trader Joe's, this you can find at Whole Foods. But I, and, and I have interviewed Colette a couple of times and I have very frequently said, I absolutely love Columbia skincare. And there are a lot of reasons why I do, of which I will tell you in this interview. Um, and, um, and just so everybody knows, I'm certainly not getting paid for this. This is for real. But before we get into that, I wanted to wish you a very happy Earth Day. And I know that you have a few things that you wanted to address about Earth Day. And before you do, I wanted to welcome Lucy and Salako. Go ahead. Welcome, everybody. And again, yes, I, I am so thrilled to be sharing Earth Day here uh, with Marla. Uh, uh, this, as you probably all know, is the 51st annual Earth Day, and uh, this year's theme is Restoring the Earth, and I, I believe we are uh, on the way. Uh, we've begun that journey uh, uh, globally in restoring the Earth. We've restored sanity uh, a little bit uh, here in this country in terms of uh, respecting the Earth, and uh, so it's great to be here on, on the um, on an Earth Day uh, dedicated to the restoration of our planet. Uh, so uh, I'd like to say that uh, how grateful I am to uh, be able to appear here uh, with Marla. I understand through the grapevine that I am the, uh, the first uh, male uh, figure to, to be here. And that of course was a bit, a bit daunting for me. So I, I brought a couple of my friends. <laughs> Do you think they can protect you from us, you know, very, um, what, well, treacherous well, William women? here, William was so happy to be selected to join me. I'll show you how happy he was. Uh, Whoa, <laughs> and who's saying that stop? Anyway, he, he's so he, he makes me feel at ease. So I don't get nervous when I'm appearing before all these uh, this global audience. Uh, and and uh, certainly uh, uh, I, I very, very calm and relaxed and excited to be here as uh, representing a, 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 a turn, a new a new a new day uh, on the show. Yes. And, and also let's bring up, cause you have a very attractive tie on. So you're also the very first guest I've ever had on who is wearing a tie. So do you want to talk about your very attractive tie? Well, actually I, thank you. Yes. Uh, I haven't worn a tie now uh, in, in almost two years, but <laughs> I chose this because this tie ties into Earth Day. This was a tie that was uh, created by John Lennon and, uh, and, and he, uh, I believe this tie was actually issued uh, on Earth Day. And, and, and it has a picture of the Earth on it. 
uh, and it says, give peace a chance. So obviously it was uh, about uh, making peace with not just the uh, people uh, uh, around the globe, but with the planet itself. Uh, so I think that uh, the significance is, is not uh, unnoticed. And, and thank you for pointing out that I'm wearing, again, I almost forgot how to tie a tie. From <laughs> I forgot how to wear high heels if it makes you any better, <laughs> feel any better. It was like, and, and the other day my husband and I went out and he said, I'm wearing hard shoes. I don't even know how to walk in hard shoes. He was like, <laughs> this feels so uncomfortable. It's so, so odd. So let's talk about the skincare company. Let's talk about Columbia. So tell me, it's, it's over a hundred years old. It was founded in 1894, is that correct? Is that the year it was founded? It was actually founded in 1871. 1871. And, and we are celebrating our 150th birthday this year. And you were not there in 1871 when it was founded. I wasn't working for them yet. I was not old enough to work <laughs> at that time, uh, but, but I, uh, I have vague memories of those days. And where was it founded? What city was it founded in? It was founded in Hartford, Connecticut. There you go. And the purpose of its creation at the time? Well, uh, so uh, our founder, Francis Creighton Sturdivant, uh, was a medic in the Civil War. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was uh, from Connecticut's uh, famed Fifth Cavalry. Mm -hmm. And uh, during his stint uh, in the war, he um, was severely troubled by all the death he saw, not just from the battlefields, but from the infections that, that killed uh, not just soldiers, but, but bystanders, innocent people, uh, even animals, even the horses that the cavalry would ride on uh, yeah. from, from infections that set in after wounds. And, and uh, Francis wrote letters home to his mother saying that if he ever survived the war and returned back to Connecticut, he was going to uh, develop products that fought infection and that uh, promoted healing. And uh, uh, sure enough, he did survive the war and he did uh, go ahead and develop products that uh, uh, were groundbreaking and, and revolutionary for their time in, in terms of their ability to, to heal and, and uh, eliminate infection. I have actually a, um, a, a oh, tin. Oh, look at that. This is a product. One of our first products is called Columbia Healing Powder. Uh -huh. And uh, this is not an original bottle. This, this, this came out a few years later. This was probably around uh, uh, 1900. Uh, but uh, the original was a little different shape. And we, ha we have it. I just didn't pull it out of the, uh, of the library. But the original uh, was from the, from the 1870s. Uh, this is, I think, the second uh, uh, bottle, uh, second, uh, the new and improved container, so to speak. Um, and this, this is about 120 years old. Wow. Uh, and, and believe it or not, it still contains a powder. And if I were to apply it, it would still work. Remarkable remarkable that this would still for, for antiseptic healing yes. and so i understand i believe it was in world war one but it also may have taken place during the civil war uh, nearly 70 years earlier uh, but that for the first time in history they learned that also men were dying of infection in world war one and that a cap full of clorox bleach in a warm bathtub actually kept men from having to uh, amputate their limbs as a result of infection. Did that also take place during the Civil War or was that a World War I invention? It, it was probably, well, the information was certainly available earlier than, than World War I. Uh, it, it was a, a kind of a last resort effort uh, uh, to, to try and prevent uh, amputation, uh, and uh, you 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 may be familiar with a a product. I think it's still on the market. A, 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 it's a mouthwash called Listerine. Of course. And and well, so the the original developer of that, uh, or or the product that led to the development of that was was uh, recognized and 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 first used by uh, a 
doctor named Joseph Lister. And, oh, Joseph, okay. and that hence Listerine. But uh, Joseph Lister was a cousin of Francis Creighton Sturdivant, and together they formulated this product. Oh, uh, that's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. That's and, really, and really interesting. They, it, they, they contain one ingredient in common. It's an ingredient found in the earth. It's a, it's a, 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 a product that it comes from coal tars and it's called phenol. And when phenol is used properly, it's one of the most outstanding uh, and safest products you can use uh, to, to prevent infection. Uh, not, not, every, not too many people really utilize it effectively and properly. We, we've been using it uh, in various formulations for 150 years, so we have a little experience with it. But it's not an easy product to work with, but uh, if you know what you're doing, it's a marvelous product. Well, we trust that you know what you're doing. So let's talk. You began to tell me a very interesting story about how you came to uh, become the CEO of Columbia Skincare, and and I expressed to you how important it is to tell these stories because so many of the people that tune in every day, they are at certain stages of their life, whether they're just retiring whether they suddenly find themselves divorced or empty nesters or um, having lost a business, you know, everybody can find themselves in darkness at any point in their lives. And we have so many people that have come on to tell amazing, inspiring stories about how, you know, like the little engine that could, that thought that maybe they could wake up one morning and truly reinvent themselves and start working to something completely different than they'd ever done before. And that is actually partly your story as well, isn't it? Yes, yes, to a large extent, that is correct. Um, I, I should preface this by saying, although I did experience a, 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 a dark period in my life, uh, it, uh, I, it, it was not a career issue as much as it was a, a, a personal issue uh, uh, going through a, a, a divorce. Um, and and uh, so, I, but I, I'm overall one of the luckiest people uh, on this planet. I've been blessed in so many ways, so many different times. And I had a very, very successful career in the entertainment business. Oh, tell us about that. Well, uh, you played harmonica. I <laughs> uh, actually, uh, I uh, I decided uh, in the Catskills. <laughs> in the Cats I did work in the Catskills. I was in a band. Uh, I decided. I know. How did I know? <laughs> I I used to. I I worked from the time I was twelve years old. I started out with a newspaper route, and and uh, I I just enjoyed working, and I enjoyed having the ability to. Uh, 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 fund my own allowance, and and uh, but uh, while in college, I realized that uh, work shouldn't just be work. Work should be uh, fun and something you should be passionate about. So uh, rather than go to law school or or uh, uh, something that my parents would have preferred me to do, mm -hmm. I, I chose to uh, work in the music business. Wow. And uh, it, it, during uh, my latter part of high school and, and some of the years of college, I was in a band, which, uh, and I soon realized that I was certainly not meant to be uh, on the front uh, of, uh, of the stage, but behind the stage. So I uh, segued from being a member of a band. Playing uh, what? Singing or playing? Playing bass guitar. Oh, I love that. I love bass guitar. I do too, and I have some of the some of the best bass guitarists in 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 modern music are very good friends of mine, and I've had great uh, uh, great experiences. But I was not of that ilk. Um, uh, but uh, so I segued from becoming uh, uh, from a struggling musician to becoming a a uh, booker of of talent. I was going to say a promoter. A promoter. Of course. I could see that in you all day long. Yeah. <laughs> and I also was lucky enough uh -huh. to begin writing uh, liner notes on, on albums. Back in those days, the record albums used to have liner notes on them. And I, I was remember. hired by a record company to, to write those liner notes, which meant I got to see the bands. I got the free tickets to concerts. 
got to meet the band and learn about uh, what to what to write about. So, uh, which was terrific. And then one day while walking in the building, uh, the record company building, I was approached by a fellow whose wife had uh, uh, recently uh, uh, was in a band that was recently dropped from that label. And he was downtrodden, he was really upset. And he said that, uh, you know, his wife is very talented and she's going to become a solo artist. And, uh, uh, and he needed help because he, he was foreign, uh, had a very heavy foreign accent. And uh, he said, everybody seems to like you in this building and I need, but how would you like to, to work with, with me? And um, uh, I said, well, uh, you know, I, uh, he said, oh, and he said, I can't pay you. Uh, but I will give you a percentage of, I'll give you a 10 cents for every record uh, she sells. She didn't even have a record deal yet. So how would you, well, but anyhow, uh, I accepted the offer. Uh, oh. I was young, I was single. I didn't need, uh, I was making money anyway. Uh, and uh, as luck would have it, that particular person who I will shall remain nameless ended up selling 32 million albums uh, from 1968 to 1975. No, you and, cannot do that. And it was really- You have crazy. to tell us who that was. <laughs> Only because it's you. Okay, uh, yeah, everybody wants to know, of course, who was it? Her name was Melanie. Mel oh, Melanie. Yeah. Oh my gosh, wow. I know somebody that is watching right now for whom Melanie was, you know, somebody that she loved. She was an incredible, is an, she's a, still to this day, an incredible person, gifted, blessed, talented, an extraordinary human being. She and was a folk singer, correct? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yep, yep, yep. Along with uh, Judy, Col uh, Judy Collins, yes, Judy Collins, Collins. and yes. um, she, Joni she, Mitchell. And Joni Mitchell. It was Joni Mitchell, Judy Collins, and Melanie. I remember that. And uh, don't forget Joan Baez. She's and uh, Joan Baez. Oh yeah, there you go. So who remembers Melanie? Everybody, they'll type it in. They'll type it in. That's great. And um, anyhow, uh, uh, so I, I had a pretty lengthy career, and that I got to work with lots of super talented people. Uh, after uh, leaving. Uh, uh, Melanie, I, I went to represent, I went on to represent uh, studio musicians, some very, very uh, well known ones, some not so known, but uh, you may have heard of Scarlett Rivera. Sure. She uh, completely outstanding uh, violinist. She was on the Bob Dylan uh, Hurricane Tour and on that album. Uh, and uh, uh, Harvey Brooks, a bass guitar player who recorded over 300 albums including The Doors, Bob Dylan, uh, uh, Richie Havens, uh, ah. many, many, many people, all of whom I had the opportunity to meet and work with. And it was just a, just a great period of time. Um, but uh, uh, as they say, all good things eventually come to an end. And uh, uh, in, in the uh, uh, late, uh, in the 1990s, I had an opportunity to sell my business uh, to someone who was buying businesses like mine and putting them all under one umbrella and which he ended up selling. Uh, so I, I found myself um, uh, out of a job and um, I wasn't quite sure what to do. Uh, I, uh, and a friend of mine who lived in Louisiana, and I knew him because he used to do a lot of uh, events associated with the New Orleans Jazz Festival, uh, had a product and uh, he said this product was developed in uh, New Orleans and it, uh, it prevent, it, it's a relief from hangover. And I said, gee, that's a novel idea. Certainly something that can be very useful to folks living in New Orleans. Sure. Uh, and uh, he said, but we need to take it to market and we don't know how to do that. And I said, well, what are you asking me for? So, well, because you, you are a people person. You look, what you, you, you look what you did with the, with the music business. I said, yeah, but it's not exactly the same thing. 
He said, sure it is. People are people, products are products. Music is really a product. Uh, so he convinced me. And uh, so we took that product to market and uh, we had a lot of success with it. And within a very short period of time, a large pharmaceutical company uh, bought that company. So what, what was the name of that company? It was called, it, just two letters, XS, XS. XS. And um, uh, that, uh, so it was sold. And uh, once again, I, I found myself uh, looking for my next venture. And but but around this time, just, just so that people can be inspired, that there's no time of your life that is too late to step out with trust and certainty beyond logic, right? Absolutely. Trust and certainty Absolutely. beyond logic. How old were you after you sold X Excess, which, by the way, is the name of a nightclub in Las Vegas now? Ah, uh, I guess I was in my well into my 40s. Good. Okay. Still young. Okay. Yep. And, and, um, uh, and then I wasn't sure what to do, except that I, I learned that I really liked the, the, that community, that healthy, I, I was uh, uh, selling a lot of natural product stores, a lot of uh, uh, specialty pharmacies. And, um, and through that, uh, I, I, well, I should back up a little bit. When I was uh, in the music business, I was a member of the Academy and I was on the committee called Music Cares. And Music Cares uh, is, is an organization that helps uh, people in the music business that have special needs. Oh, Whether very it's nice. uh, addiction or, or uh, uh, needing money, sometimes you, get, you lose all your income. Uh, so, and we were trained in, in, in that. And, and so uh, through Music Cares, I got to meet a lot of folks in the and in the wellness community, uh, people who are uh, therapists, massage therapists, uh, estheticians, spa operators. And I also came across uh, some of that group of people again uh, with the excess product, because again, we, we met people who were into wellness and I became kind of hooked on wellness. Um, and and um, when the opportunity came to, to um, uh, associate myself with this company, the FC Sturdivan company, there was no hesitation, especially also because I knew the powder, this powder, of course, in a different package, but I, we used to have this in our house. It was a product that we used in our family. So I, I went to work uh, for the company and- um, I, Can I just interrupt you for just a minute? Just because sure. you've seen me on my cell phone just a couple of times because I never wanted to interrupt you. So I was texting welcome to the new people that had come in. So I have just, you know, was texting into the chat, but I, I do want to just tell everybody that we are going to have a raffle uh, to raffle off the his product, Columbia Skincare, which I should have said at the beginning, um, but I wanted everybody to find us and get into the, the program. And if all of you will just hit share and share onto your own pages, this interview, and then just type shared in the chat, because we trust that if you wrote shared that you really shared it. And then Stephen is going to raffle off this product to give away to one of our lucky listeners. So I just wanted to get everybody to go ahead and share this on their own pages right now. And, um, and then that way, when we get ready to raffle, you will be, um, I we're having forwarding all the names to Stephen from Monday when all of you were sharing, he also has that same pot of people. Um, and so uh, we're very, very happy to do that. So that now that everybody is sharing and we're getting people that are all coming in, um, you write share where you just wrote, where do you write share? There you go. And that's, I'm that's not it. sure if I'm going to announce it or if, if Max here might. I, think I would love for Max to do it. He looks cut in. That makes a second man that's been on the air here. OK, okay. Max, Stephen and Max. OK, so now you you began you went to work for Columbia Skincare. Yes. And and, and that was really um, totally a, a definitive time in my in my career, because through this company and the products that they provided, I got to see just how important uh, a, a product can be in, in the lives of people who have uh, uh, conditions, skin conditions that, that other products just would not treat. And, and I saw the commitment 
to health and wellness that the members of, 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 of our company were dedicated to uh, and, and the amount of research. This is a company that uh, really impressed me because it was so top heavy in research. That was the most important thing. Uh, creating products, uh, uh, not necessarily because they uh, 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 were, were uh, popular. Uh, in fact, we were almost uh, uh, the antithesis of, of many companies who would just come out with a product uh, that fit a FDA monograph and it didn't matter where the ingredients came from, they could buy it from, right. the, they were just looking for the less, uh, less expensive products. They can put their name on it and sell it. And, and we just did the opposite. We, we started from scratch. We looked at different ingredients and we formulated. So all of our products are, are unique. There are no products uh, in any of the categories where we have products that are like ours. Uh, we use different ingredients. We, we, we have a, a different approach to the, uh, uh, the, to the development of a product. And uh, I think that's one of the things that make us very, very different. And so just, will you just tell people really quickly how you acquired the company? Because I thought that was just fascinating. I, 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 I cut him off right in the middle because I wanted him to tell the full story here today. So go ahead, Stephen. Well, okay. Uh, it's, I've been with the company now 26 years. And in the beginning, uh, I had the choice uh, in lieu of uh, bonuses, I could take uh, non-voting stock uh, in, in lieu. And I really, the bonuses were not that important to me at the time. What was important was, was getting uh, more committed, showing my commitment to, to the company and, and seeing how the company was committed to seeing me develop uh, my full potential at the company. That's wonderful. Uh, right. Don't you think that's the key to success, no matter what it is, is showing your commitment to whatever it is you are doing and to the people who have the investment in it. And therefore, they want to invest in you becoming the best you that you can be. Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, that is a gift, right? When you yep. walk into a relationship of employee and employer, where right. that is, I mean, that's, that's a gift. Truly, truly and absolutely. And after a few years of accumulating non-voting stock, I was then given the option to uh, if a, a board member or a family member were to retire or leave and want to uh, exchange their stock, I was given the rights to the first right to purchase that stock uh, or else if I didn't, it would go back into the pool and the family would divide it up. And I took advantage of that opportunity and, and began to acquire the stock. Uh, and I was not expecting to be the owner of the company. In fact, it wasn't uh, uh, until a, a, a real tragedy occurred last year uh, when the uh, chairman of our board uh, died from COVID. Oh, my heavens. I'm so sorry. And, and uh, when, when he passed, uh, the family thought that I would be the person they would want to to uh, take on the responsibility of running the company. And uh, uh, they, uh, I, they offered to sell the stock and I, I gave them the option. I said, look, you can keep the stock. I'll still run the company or you could, or I'll buy the stock, whatever, uh, but we're, this is not gonna change. I still want the Sturdivant family involved. And, and, uh, and we still have that. We still have a couple of the fa family members uh, directly involved. But I, I am in, uh, in the process of becoming, I am the largest shareholder now, and, and uh, that uh, position of, of shares of holding will, will increase over the next few years. One of our listeners just mentioned that her um, stepdaughter is a Rosenfeld, and she is from the Rosenfeld Pep Boys family. They own Pep Boys. Are you, fam are you related or familiar? I am very familiar with them. I believe they're from. Philadelphia, and I think the uh, pet boy that was a Rosenfeld was Mo Morris. And no, they're not related to me, uh, but I do know the I do know the company, and I did know uh, that there was a Rosenfeld there. There you as a go. Pet boy. 
Yep. There you go. It's Jewish geography. We all play it, right? No matter which way we go, no yep. matter who we meet, it's, you know, Jewish geography all the way. It's a, it's a funny game and we all play it, don't we? we um, do. So let me just chime in really quickly because I would love to be able to, yeah, she said, yes, they are from Philadelphia. Um, so I want to just share with everybody my experience because from the depths of my soul, I have, uh, listen, uh, I have bought every skincare product and every new mascara and every eyeshadow and lipstick that has ever been produced and known to man since I was 13 years old, uh, mostly because I had bad acne as a teenager, number one. And number two, because I live in Las Vegas and makeup is the thing. I mean, you start wearing makeup from the time you learn to talk, basically. So, um, you know, I am well endowed. And in recent years, of course, you know, I don't have 20 year old skin. I don't even have 40 year old skin, right? I, um, I'm well endowed in age and very grateful for where I am in my life. But I began to, as a result of hormonal changes in my life, um, began to uh, have cystic acne and no facialist could control it. Nothing I did could control. I mean, suddenly I was breaking out like I was a teenager. And on top of that, because I am olive skinned and I've lived in the desert my entire life, I have always overproduced oil in my skin. Always. I've always had oily skin. And of course, when I was a teenager, I always used astringent on my face. And as a result of using astringent and even straight alcohol to get rid of the oil on my face, then it caused me to overproduce even more. But I did understand that when I was a teenager. Um, finally, in my 30s, I think I started using moisturizer for the first time and that helped. But I tell you, all of you, this story because um, when I met Colette, she said, oh, try this skincare. Well, listen, she sent it to me, Stephen, and um, it sat here for two weeks before I ever tried it because I've never had anybody who I met that represented a skincare company not say, oh, try this. It's the best thing you'll ever, ever use. I promise you'll never use anything else. So it sat here, Stephen, for two weeks, maybe three weeks before I even tried it. And then I started with the probiotic concentrate, which I thought, oh, of course, they're, you know, everybody's using the words probiotic now. So, you know, why wouldn't they have put probiotic on the serum? And then also um, on the probiotic complex, right? Buzzwords, I was on it. But I promised Colette I would try it and I wanted to give it a fair chance. And so I did. And it wasn't more than um, a week honestly, a week. I have very large pores as a result of having very thick olive skin, right? Mediterranean Jewish olive skin. And um, I could not believe the shrink. I mean, the, the pores that, you know, were the size of alligators began to shrink and the oil was gone. And the, the, the funny thing is, is that it wasn't just that I dried up. It was that, that my skin itself really felt just gentle like the back of my, my hand. And I really want everybody to know that this is an absolute truth. Like I would never in a million years bring anybody or anything on because I'm getting something for nothing just to sell it to you. Because believe me when I tell you, nobody is standing in line to pay me to do anything. Um, and, and so I, I really, um, just really wanted to tell my experience. And I was really grateful because suddenly in my 60s, having cystic acne was really bad for me. And I'm like, well, how could I be the age that I am? And suddenly I'm breaking out like I'm in my teenage years. So you say what? What say you? Well, um, uh, I, I think, first of all, waiting two weeks before using it was, was a good idea because it takes <laughs> about a week or two for the uh, container to, to uh, get uh, familiar with the surroundings. And uh, oh, it's learning okay. all about your lifestyle, what kind of TV you like to watch, what kind of food you like to eat. 
all part of the learning process. So by the time you let the genie out of the bottle, the genie was really well informed uh, as, as to the role it needed to play. The energy in the room course, got to it. That, that of course is not true. Uh, that's just a little uh, devious uh, uh, devil. Is that a joke? <laughs> yes, my, my uh, poor attempt at humor. That's why I'm not allowed in the comedy. That's why you're not on the stage. You're in the I'm back. I'm not on the stage. I, in fact, I'm, I was told I should be on the stage, uh, and there was one. The next one leaves me. town immediately. Right. I get you. Yeah. Uh, but, <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, An old uh, one, Stephen. The the reason why uh, uh, this product and, and probiotics, we we actually were working uh, in 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 the area of uh, understanding uh, uh, the microbiome uh, very early. Uh, before most other companies. Uh, it, it kind of relates to, to our history and how we started. But um, long before any topical product uh, was tagged as a, as a probiotic, we were already uh, producing products, not for resale or sale, but for testing purposes, where we gave them to doctors and doctors would uh, put it on their patients and and. And we also were learning which strains of bacteria, because there's just so many, I we could spend the, the next I'm few sure. weeks talking about the different types of bacteria, uh, the, the uh, healthy bacterial uh, bacteria and, and, the, and the harmful bacteria, the resident bacteria, the, the transient bacteria, there's just so much to it. But by learning uh, 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 about how these different microbes function, and how they impact uh, our, because our body is covered uh, with all sorts of bacteria. Uh, and and the, the, this bacteria, fungi, even viruses really make up our microbiome. Exactly. And, and, and there are very good viruses that make up that microbiome for which, if we, didn't have, yeah. for which if we didn't have them, we couldn't exist on the planet. Correct, absolutely correct. So uh, by understanding this a little better, we were able to develop products that, that uh, really are very, very sophisticated products. Uh, they, in, in, in recognizing, first they have to be, uh, enter the environment, then they have to figure out what is specifically required of, of them. So it, it, it's, it's, not a, a, it's not an easy task. This is not something you, you, you should try doing at home. Uh, but we, we were able to produce products that are uh, able to uh, work successfully with all skin types and at the same time be very, very safe for use. Uh, probiotic bacteria are very powerful. And, and, and uh, if, um, if used incorrectly or if, if not, if you don't take into account all the other things that are impacted uh, in the ecosystem of your body, your skin, uh, uh, you can run into some challenges. So uh, we've and, been able, yeah. Well, I just want to say you only have um, four products that Columbia sells, the probiotic serum and the complex. Also the skin repair, which you put on blemishes if you should get one. And also the... Um, what is it? The restorative cream? The, the restorative hydrating cream. Those yeah. are the four products that comprise our professional skincare division. Yes, yes. And then yes. we have some other divisions where we have other, other products. But so, those four products are Columbia Skincare's. And I will tell you a very funny story. I, um, I, this is kind of a pump bottle that you pump it out and then you e eject it onto your hand. And I thought that I had closed the, the top and I went and lifted it up to put it away. And of course it was not attached and the bottle fell over and like a quarter size fell out onto the bathroom counter. And I literally, I'm not kidding you, if I, if I could have sucked it up in a straw, I would have, but I literally was lapping it up just like, and, and you know, I was putting it everywhere. I was like, God forbid, I should let, you know, the tiniest little minuscule amount go to waste. And I, I lapped it up and I was just panicking. Like, should I put it still on my face? What should I do? Um, and I saved every last bit of it, you know, going everywhere, my hands, my neck, you know, my arms. I just did not want to waste it because 
that's how great it feels. I would say this, I did not have a facial for almost nine months and I have um, quite a bit of, of sun damage from living in Las Vegas my whole life, never wearing sunscreen because we didn't have it in the 60s when I was growing up and going to the lake and you know laying there face up. And so I have quite a bit of skin damage and I hadn't had a facial for nine months during COVID. I've been using this for about four months. And when I went back in to see my facialist, I said to her, you're not gonna believe this. I want you to look at my skin. Tell me what you think. And she said, listen, I cannot believe because when I just go like two months without seeing her, my sunspots come back strong, my pores open up. And she said, I am in shock. I, you, my sunspots never came back. Um, they, they, whatever it is that is in this, it really helps keep that very straight. That's, that's true. It's, it's, uh, it, it really aids skin renewal uh, uh, more so than most, uh, than any chemical treatment that I know. And it's, and it's not short term, it's long term. I would also like to see a photograph of before and after of your uh, counter, uh, because I'm sure the spot that had the uh, the uh, probiotic on it probably looks a lot younger than the spot next to it. <laughs> what silly humor. I never had a chance. Are you kidding? Nothing got into that marble. It all went on me. <laughs> Not in your life. It never had a chance. All so, right. Stephen, I um, just wanted to let all of our viewers know that everybody who entered uh, over the last four days who, who shared uh, Nanny Bubby's cooking show on their own pages uh, were entered to win today. I have these names right here uh, that I'm gonna pull. They are going to win um, making a cocktail with me. Um, and um, I am now, uh, we forward all of this to you and you are gonna reach into your fishbowl and you're gonna pull out a name as well. So he has all the same names in his bowl that I have in mine. Just tell me when. When? When? Okay. And the winner is Lisa Young Doll. There you go. Oh, that's great. That's great. Lisa, are you here? Just put a thumbs up in the chat if you're here right now. And um, does Max want to say something? Max wants to say something to Lisa for winning. Okay. It had to be you. It had to be you. I wandered around and finally found somebody who. Thank you, Max. She said, yes, she's here. And thank you very, 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 very Congratulations, much. Lisa. And Lisa, I will reach out to you on direct message and you can forward me your address and I will forward it to Steven and his team and they will send you out a box. And she said she loves that song too. Her father used to uh, play trumpet um, in um, the bands here in the 50s and 60s. Wow, I can remember, and I'm dating myself now, going into the uh, three queens, or four queens. <laughs> <laughs> the four queens. I actually I was there, but it was only three. But I remember when it was four. I can remember when it was two queens. That's hey, I, I can too. <laughs> <laughs> and and I would see Frank Sinatra Jr. Oh. and that was a treat. Yeah, was really, it was a, there was a, a one drink minimum, and uh, and the shrimp cocktail was fifty cents. And boy, oh boy, that was a great, great uh, evening. Hey. You should have made it all the way uh, to the Silver Slipper where shrimp cocktails were 25 cents. I don't know what you were doing. Now you tell me. Yeah, I'm telling you. So uh, now I'm going to pick out of my little bucket right here, all of these names, um, somebody who is going to make a cocktail with me tomorrow. And if you can't, um, then you'll tell me and I'll pick somebody else. And the winner of this one is... Oh, Lucy in Sulaco. Lucy, are you there? Absolutely. You know, that's funny. She, she <laughs> that's really funny. Uh, Lucy just wrote in big red, congrats, Lisa. 
And so, Lucy, are you still there? You want, you and I are going to make a cocktail together. Oh. Yeah, all right. Let's see if she can answer that. And I will uh, DM with Lucy a little bit later on and get her recipe. Hopefully she can make it tomorrow. Lucy, are you still there? It takes a minute. It takes a minute for, you know, there's a delay. So Stephen, yes. any, any, yep, she said she's here. Good. All right. So tomorrow, Lucy, you and I are going to get on Zoom together and we're going to make your favorite cocktail. We're going to share that recipe and it's going to be fantastic to share that with you. It's the first time we've ever done that is had a viewer come along on Zoom with me to make a recipe. So I'm excited. Another first. This is yeah. great. Yeah. Yes. Good. Yes. So any closing words that you would like to share with us? Steve? Yes, absolutely. I, I, want, I just want to thank everybody for joining in with us today. And I want to let you know that uh, celebrating Earth Day does not end today at Columbia Skin Care. We're going to be celebrating Earth Day for the rest of the year. Uh, we have a program every Wednesday called Wellness Wednesdays hosted by Colette Brown. Uh, she's got a great program on Instagram, 12 o'clock noon Eastern time, nine o'clock uh, West Coast time. And uh, she's got fantastic guests like Marla uh, who appear on her show and uh, lots of good things occur there. And uh, the guests are usually uh, people who are connected by their dedication and commitment to participate and help explore and define a wellness lifestyle. Uh, they are all uh, amazing, and we, we are very grateful uh, that they're there. So please tune in, join us, and uh, let's continue celebrating Earth Day. And can I ask you, Stephen, in order to order the product, do they have to order it through a facialist? Can they go online to order it? Anybody who is watching who would like to order the product, where do they go to do it? They can order it directly online uh, by going to our website. Uh, there's a, there's a, a, a shopping cart there. They can go to their uh, dermatologist. Uh, they can, uh, if they uh, 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 go to a, a spa, uh, generally uh, uh, the uh, esthetician, head esthetician there can order it. Uh, but the easiest, quickest way uh, for now is to probably order it online. There you go. ColumbiaSkinCare.com. Thank you. Thank you so much, Marla. Oh, I have to pick one more. Lucy just shared with everybody that she's not going to be here tomorrow, so she can't do this with me. So oh. let me let me pull out another name. Well, you know what? I literally just pulled out my sister's name. And normally I wouldn't give this to anybody else, but the fact is, is that tomorrow's my sister's birthday and my mother's today, but my sister's, and I think I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to have my sister come here and actually help me because- How appropriate is that? I would love to be able to bring me her favorite martini recipe. So um, anyway, that I think I'm going to go ahead and let this one roll with my sister's name on it. That was- fortuitous but that was really kind of cool so thank you lucy for giving up your spot it gave me a second chance to pull that out there you go heather hooray um and i also wanted to tell you that sue rainish um you reminded her a lot of her father and she has been very touched by her the information uh, that you've given and also it it felt warm and very uh heartfelt to her for her to watch. It was very nice. So um, well, thank, thank you, you, Sue, very much for saying she said she loved hearing from you. And thank everybody you. else thank is very, very excited much, too. Great. Okay. Appreciate well, it. Stephen, it has been a pleasure. Colette, if you're still here and watching, thank you so much for connecting Stephen and I together. Um, I love hearing from him and um, I hope you'll come back and visit us. I'd love to anytime. Uh, and thank you for having me, us, and uh, uh, happy Earth Day to everyone. And happy Earth Day to, to you. Is there another is there another great fortuitous type of Earth Day that is coming up maybe six months from now that you can think of? Um, that I can think of right now? Yeah. Uh, uh, give me a hint. Well, I mean, I don't know, because then it would be like, we're going to have you on Earth Day and we're going to have you on St. Patrick's Day, because that's when we think about green grass i don't know oh okay <laughs> well, I'm just uh, we, we can uh, we can celebrate uh yeah i'm sure there's another great day uh oh, maybe you know what we could celebrate um well arbor day arbor day or we could celebrate uh the wonderful day not to coat because that's the harvesting 
But what is the Jewish um, planting of trees? What holiday is that? Colette probably knows. I, I, I know it too. Um, um, what uh, is that? Uh, gosh. Uh, um, Tub Shabbat. Tub Shabbat. Tub Shabbat. Tub Shabbat, right, right, right. Shabbat. Yeah, that is yeah. a great day. That is a great yeah. day. So we'll Absolutely. So we'll be back. We'll be back. All right, Stephen. Happy summer to you. Be safe, be healthy, be well. I know you're going to be making the trip back to New York. Is that where you're from? Yes. So you're not in Florida? Yes, yes, that's correct. Okay. Well, I, I, uh, I thank you for that. And I wish everybody good health and, and, uh, uh, and wellness. And, uh, and how lucky the, I can't say the name of the family because it was a mouthful, but how lucky they are to have you. No wonder they called it Columbia, not uh, Stubiont or whatever. Uh, yes, uh, uh, half the staff can't, can't even spell it. But Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm with the staff on that one, but uh, much gratitude to, to that family. And thank, thank you. you thank you so much. All the best. All the best. Bye-bye now. Bye, everybody. Oh.